since I'll be providing subliminals on this channel starting from this month, I want to provide you with all the information about them, including what they are, how they can support your spiritual growth, and help you with your manifestation process. More importantly, I want to talk about how to listen to subliminals the correct way so that you can manifest your desired outcome instantly and powerfully. Let's get started. To start us off today is a question that is undoubtedly on your mind right now. That is, what is subliminal? Well, simply put, subliminals are messages that reprogram your subconscious mind. There are seven categories of subliminal messages. Touch, hearing, sight, smell, taste, body awareness, and body movement. A key aspect of subliminals is that they generally contain subtle or imperceptible cues making them challenging to perceive on a conscious level. Have you ever heard of those experiments that when people are played with music from a certain country, the food or alcohol from that country gets a significant increase in sales? In other words, subliminals are not just about being woo-woo, they are in fact scientifically proven. Now, what subliminal messages are not? Like the music experiment I just mentioned, people still need to exercise their urge to purchase food or wine even though they are subconsciously primed. That means subliminal messages are not your magic pills for making those positive changes. You need to consciously want to change for the better in order for those messages to resonate with you, raise your vibration, and manifest your energy into your experience. That said, how do subliminal messages work? Remember I mentioned that there are seven categories of them? They are used in businesses to increase sales and used in human interactions such as persuasion. But given that the subliminal hypnosis I'm providing will be in audio format and will be more about helping you tap into your power, we will focus on them in this video. Most subliminal hypnosis, including mine, contain positive affirmations as well as some music. In case you don't know, positive affirmations are a statement that aims to reprogram your subconscious mind and motivate you to take positive actions. One example of positive affirmations is, I can achieve whatever I want if I put my heart into it. Positive affirmations work. I don't think I need to give you scientific proof for that. But I notice a problem. First of all, sometimes we can be lazy and we don't want to make time to think about what positive affirmations we need, let alone repeating them to ourselves often. Second, even if we manage to practice positive affirmations often, like in my case, I repeat affirmations to myself whenever I have self-doubts, the problem is that this negative thoughts seems to be always on repeat in the background. And worse, a lot of time we are not even consciously aware of them. This is where audio subliminals are used. Rather than relying on conscious listening to audio content, subliminals are embedded with inaudible positive affirmations using sound rates above our hearing capacities. We can't hear these affirmations, but our inner ear can detect them and send the messages to our subconscious mind, affecting our thoughts and actions if we consciously also want to change for the better. Let me now quickly give you my personal experience with subliminals. As someone obsessed with self-development, I was so intrigued when I heard about subliminals. So I looked for them on the magnificent YouTube and I find some that were truly amazing. But I felt like I needed something more specific and powerful and also something longer to listen to all day long and even when I'm sleeping. So I decided to hire a music creator to create some subliminal hypnosis for me. Exactly how does that work? Well, I gave him a long, long list of affirmations, mostly about manifesting success and releasing any blockages, and asked him to record them and make them audible. Actually, recently I just learned how to do it, so from now on, I'll be making subliminals on my own, so you'll be listening to affirmations recorded by me. Anyway, to make my hypnosis more powerful, I have also asked him to incorporate sophagial frequencies and binaural beats into the hypnosis. And what are they for you may ask? So five frequencies are specific sound tones that help with and enhance different aspects of your mind and body health. These frequencies are set to date back to ancient times and other primary sounds used in Western Christianity and Eastern Indian religions. As for binaural beats, 
These are simply an illusion created by the brain when you listen to two tones with subtly different frequencies simultaneously. For example, if you are listening to a 440Hz tone with your left ear and a 444Hz tone with your right ear, then you'll be hearing a 4Hz tone, which is the difference between the two. That said, here is the important thing to know. You can use binaural beats to entrain your mind to reach a certain mental state. Now, exactly what was my personal experience? I've been listening to my subliminals day and night. I find them particularly useful during the time when I'm working because I'm one of those people who get easily irritated and tense at work. But when my subliminal is on, I feel calmed and empowered and more importantly, kinder to myself and other people, which makes me feel more connected to my true nature. Listening to my hypnosis every day has really had a big impact on my frequency. You know you can feel the difference when you are in a high frequency, right? My mental state is now also so much clearer and I'm able to easily tap into my higher self. However, as I said earlier, subliminals are not your magic pills. You have your part to play. Also, to make them work, make sure you are listening to them correctly. By this, I mean, first, set a goal. You need to actually want to change your life and be prepared for it before using subliminals. The objective you're working towards should be absolutely clear to you. You need to understand what you want to achieve or modify. And note this, it should trigger a subtle sense of fear, but not intense stress. So be sure to find the right balance here. Do not shatter or experiment with other sections simultaneously. For example, if your priority goal is to lose weight, direct your energy to that and do not listen to subliminal messages on other topics. Second, visualize your desired outcomes and experience the feelings. The language in the universe is your emotions or energies. So to manifest your desires, your emotional state should match your desired outcomes. Suppose you want to start making 10k or 100k monthly. In this case, you need to actually feel like you have already achieved that in order for the law of attraction to create powerful results for you. Use subliminals to support your visualization. I have found that it's easier for me to visualize bigger goals when I'm listening to my hypnosis. Of course, you will have to check whether those underlying affirmations align with your goals. It's a bit odd to visualize wealth in a subliminal that helps you get love, right? Third, listen to subliminals while in a relaxed, meditative, or sleep state. Remember, you are trying to reprogram your subconscious mind and not your conscious one. So you need to pick a time when your conscious self is not alert. That way, the conscious mind can easily absorb all the information coming in. So when is the best time to listen to subliminals? Play your subliminals when meditating, going to sleep, or when you are in a deeply relaxed state. Fourth, choose your subliminals carefully. Do your research to make sure the affirmations underlying the subliminal are what you're looking for and resonate with you. Check out the videos or audio comments and also check the background of the creator. That is me. Fifth, trust the process. Understand that while you will generally feel positive after listening to a subliminal, you are not going to rewire your subconscious mind in a day or two. You will need to listen to subliminal messages for anywhere between 30 to 90 days. And if you get the results you desire within a month, you can tone down a bit, only listening to that when you feel like you need to. However, remember that everyone is different and you may need more than a couple of weeks to retrain your subconscious mind. Eventually, however, the affirmations will stick and your brain will build new neural networks. So give it time and most importantly, keep at it. Now, some bonus tips on listening to subliminals effectively. The first tip is to use headphones. Noise can distract your mind and make subliminals ineffective. So you want to use headphones to block out any noise and keep your section private. Also, in order for binaural beats to work, you need to wear headphones because you want to listen to one hertz tone on your left ear and then the other hertz tone on your right ear so that you get the balanced tone that will help you achieve a certain mental state. 
The second tip is to keep your listening time to 90 minutes. This way, you give your subconscious mind enough time to pick up the affirmations. The third tip is to stay hydrated. Personally, I think this is something you should do whether you're listening to subliminals or not. But keeping yourself hydrated will make your mind clear so that you can absorb the affirmations so much more faster and powerfully. Subliminals, if used right, can reshape your mind and consequently your life. Now, if this video has motivated you to give subliminals a try, like, comment, and go listen to my subliminals. Also, check out my other videos on raising your vibrational frequency. For more videos on wealth, wellness, manifestation, click subscribe and hit the notification bell beside it. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my other ones.